an Excel drop-down list is a powerful tool to predefine which data can be entered in specific cells in an Excel worksheet. So let's look at an example. I have a list of employees here and the employees can have a bonus of 5%, 10% or 15%. And for these three values, I will now create a drop-down list. So first of all, we have to select the area which should contain the drop-down fields. So basically all the bonus cells for the employees. Then we go to the data tab and here we click on data validation. Now in the drop-down menu where it says allow, we will select the list and here in the source field, we can now type in our values. So I type in 5%, then I type in a semicolon and by the way in your country it can be the case that you simply have to use a comma instead of a semicolon. Then the 10% and the 15%. Now when we click on OK you can see this drop down arrow next to the cell and when we click on it we have the three values that we entered into our list. Now let's again highlight these cells and click on data validation because I want to show you something. It can be the case that you have a lot more list entries and then the manual typing in here um, is not recommended. In such a case, you would simply click on this arrow in the right corner of the field um, and then you select an area in your sheet where you have typed down your list values. So I have this in a separate sheet in sheet two so that we don't see it in sheet one. Now I select all of these values, click again on this arrow and you can see our source is now the sheet two and in sheet two the fields A1 to A3. Now when we click on OK, we will again have this list as our source and the good thing is we can also adapt it. So let's say we have 5%, 12% and 15%. We go back to sheet one and now the values are updated. And by the way, you can also do a right click on sheet two and click on hide um, if you don't want to have a separate sheet visible which contains your list entries. The next thing I want to show you is that when we click on data validation, you can also create an input message. The input message consists of a title and a message. And when we create one and click on OK, you can see when we click in such a cell which contains the drop down field, um, this title and the message will pop up. And there is also the option to create an error alert. So this error alert basically pops up when you enter some value which is not in the list. Uh, so let's just type in not in the list, click on OK. And now let's say that we don't select a value from our list, but type it in manually and type a an value which is not in the list. So for example, 7%, hit the enter key. And then you can see we have the, the error message which says not in the list. And by the way, when you want to remove your drop down cells, simply highlight the area, click on data validation and click on clear all and everything will be set back to normal. And that's it. I hope you liked the video and that you learned something. And if so, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I see you in the next video.